Last year, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney de declared gun violence a public health crisis. Today, he announced phase one of this plan for combating violence. It uses over a million dollars of federal funding. New at 11, Crime Insider John Burkett tells us why some Richmond police officers are opposed to one of the plan's initiatives. John? Well, Bill, my source is telling me if you thought the bleeding of manpower was bad in recent years at RPD, they say you haven't seen the worst. That as news comes today, the mayor and chief of police want to use grant money to hire violence interrupters at 49 to 68 grand per hire. It's more money starting than some officers who make, uh, who've been with RPD for more than 15 years. In a city that saw historic violence in 2021, 93 homicides and shattering the record for the number of people shot in a year. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney and Police Chief Gerald Smith roll out a plan to use over a million dollars in grant money from the American Rescue Plan Act to stop the bleeding in communities hardest hit using what they're calling violence interrupters. Credible voices from places like Gilpin and Creighton who are able to talk to their fellow neighbors and say, hey brother, I've been here before. I've seen it before. And guess what? I served time because of it. So how do I divert you from making the same mistakes that I may have made in the past. These are the sort of individual, individuals, conversations that we want to have, sometimes organically, but sometimes we want to be able to actually play a role in making those conversations happen. And I think hiring the violence interrupters is a great way to get, uh, get this going. They come with a price tag. Chief Smith says salaries would range from 49 to 68 grand per year. We are looking to hire individuals who have walk that path and know that that's the wrong path because I can actually speak to those in the community to actually, as the mayor said correctly, divert them off that path. Their hope is these violence interrupters will intervene before officers have to get involved after a crime is committed. Sergeant Brendan Levy, president of the Richmond Coalition of Police, says it's a complete slap in the face to the police department, regardless of its grant money or not. The chief of police doesn't even realize how he just insulted his own police department. The chief of police did not consult with the organization RCOP that represents the most officers, sergeants, and lieutenants of how this would affect the rank and file. More officers will quit now. The chief of police is driving officers away from the Richmond Police Department. The mayor doesn't believe that, though, saying incentives in the pipeline will help with retention. You talk to our officers, they will tell you it is not solely about pay and compensation. It's about actually the job they get to do, where they get to do, where they get to do it. And we believe that we are still a competitive uh, department here in, in, in Richmond. Uh, I still believe that we are one of the best departments in this state. Uh, we can do better in meeting our officers and those who sign up halfway when it comes to improving their quality of life here. response to RCOP's statement, the mayor's press secretary, Jim Nolan, says RCOP's interest in seeking increase in officers' pay is well documented, as is our commitment to doing so. We hope its leaders are just as committed to joining the rest of RPD, scores of city workers, and the thousands of community members who are committed to doing everything we can to reduce gun violence in our community. As said by the mayor in chief earlier today, we are taking a holistic approach which not only includes supporting and recruiting officers, but using evidence-based strategies to prevent gun violence.